hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all well guys in this video here i will show you how we can check the battery cycle count on is 15.7.6 on the latest is version so if you're also using this is version on iphone this video will be very helpful so make sure you follow the complete steps in this video so that you can easily check out the battery cycle count of your iphone 6s iphone 7 and iphone 7 plus models so firstly i will show you the software version that i am using on my iphone as you can see the software version is 15.7.6 and this is my iphone 7 so firstly in this method i will leave a link in the description so go and open that particular link and you can easily redirect it to this website so this is the shortcut view battery cycle so click on this get shortcut and simply add the shortcut in your shortcuts application so i have already added the shortcut in my iphone as you can see when i open here my shortcuts application you will see there's a shortcut of the view battery cycle so after adding this shortcut in a shortcuts app now clear the recent applications and make sure you follow the complete steps here so this is very important and click on this settings app and here you will see this option of the privacy just tap on this privacy and scroll up and find out the analytics and improvements just tap on this option and you will see the analytics data tap on this option and here click on the search bar and search here the option log hyphen aggregated so now you will see these are the dates and we just need to pick up the latest date from here so this is the log aggregated just tap on this latest date so today is 28 28 may and click on this date and click on the share option and scroll up and find out this battery cycle view battery cycle just tap on this shortcut when you tap on this shortcut this shortcut will run in your iphone as you can see my iphone has been completed the 1929 battery cycle counts on my iphone 7 so by following this method you can easily check the battery cycle counts of any of the iphone so the method for all the iphones is the same you can follow this method on every single iphone you are using so i will see you in the next video so guys thanks for watching